In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a mood board in Notion. Now, there's actually many different ways that you can build a mood board and each method is gonna work for different types of people. In this video, I'll be showing you the best two ways. So this is the first mood board that I've created in Notion. This is actually a database. And as you can see, each of these little cards is one of the photos within the mood board. And I've also added tags to each of these so you can easily organize and sort them. You can use the search bar here to find what you're looking for. So let's say I just want to see all of the blue ones. I can just type in blue and it will search the tags and bring just those ones up. I have also created this by tag page. If you click on here, they've actually been grouped by the tag. So it's even easier to see just the different groups of photos within your mood board. So this is the first type of mood board. I'd say the pros of this type of mood board is that it's really easy to sort, filter and group images as you can see on this tab. However, the cons are that they do display a landscape. As you can see, there isn't a way currently to make these photos display portrait. So if that's gonna be an issue for you, then you might prefer the second type of mood board that I'm going to show you now. So this is the second type of mood board. So if I just open up this toggle here, as you can see, the mood board pops up and we have a ton of images in here. I've labeled each of them as well. And as you can see in this type of mood board, you can display portrait images like this. So this is how the mood board would display. You can just make it as long as you want. And this one is hidden inside this toggle. So you can open and close the toggle as you want. And you can actually create as many of these as you like. So I've also set up this button here. So when I click that, it's going to add another mood board, exactly the same. And you can just give it a name, open it up and then add in your images. So when you click on this button here, it's going to add an image into this column. And you can just click on here to actually upload your image. So with this type of mood board, the pros are that you can display any size or orientation of image as as you can see. However, the cons are that it's not quite as easy to sort and filter the images as it is with the other database version. So in the rest of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to build both of these mood boards. So you can use the timestamps below if you want to skip to the correct section for whichever mood board you want to build. And if you're enjoying the video so far, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming Notion tutorials. So the first mood board that we're going to build is this one, which is the database version. So I've just set up a brand new blank page. I'm just naming this one mood board and I've just selected an icon and a cover photo, but that's all we've done so far. The first thing I'm going to do is I actually want to make this page full width. So we have more room on the page to work with. So to do that, you just want to click on these three dots up here in the corner and just toggle on this full width option. And all that does, as I say, is it just makes the page wider, which is going to be really useful for this build. Now, as I said, this first mood board is actually a database, but I actually want this database to be a gallery view. So I'm going to type in forward slash gallery, and we're going to select this gallery view database block. And that's going to add a brand new database in the gallery format, as you can see. So we're just going to give this a name. So let's just call it mood board. And I'm also just going to click on these three dots here and hide the database title. So it looks a little bit cleaner. So we're going to start by just clicking on one of these cards to open up the page and feel free to delete this. This is just added as default. So I'm just going to remove that. Now to add the photo, you're actually going to hover up here and you'll see this add cover option. So I'm just going to click on that and it's going to add a cover photo at random. So this is where we're actually going to upload the image that we want to display on our mood board. So I'm going to click on change cover. And as you can see, there are a few different options here. So the first one is upload. So if you have an image that you want to upload, feel free to upload it here. You can use the link option. So if you find an image on the internet, you can simply paste the link in here and it will automatically grab it and download it and upload it here for you. It's really quick and a great way to upload photos. And finally, there's also unsplash, which is actually a free stock photo library. So you can just type something in here. Let's say we're looking for ideas for a new bedroom design. So I'm just going to type in bedroom and it's going to display a ton of really beautiful stock photos. So let's just click on this one as an example and it's just going to grab that and pull it in here in a second. And there it is. So I'm just going to click away from there and our photo is now uploaded. The other thing that I want to do is we want to add a tag. So we're going to add a tag based on the type of image. So obviously this is going to depend largely on the type of mood board you're creating. Let's just say this one is a neutral color design. So I'm just going to type that in. And as you can see, it's adding a tag. So if I hit enter, it's going to add that as a tag option. Let's also change the color of this because I want it to be more of a neutral color to match. So if I click on here, let's edit this property. And as you can see, here is that option. So if I click on here, it'll actually allow me to pick a color. So let's just put light gray. So it's more of a neutral color. And then I'm going to click away from this page to go back to our main database. Just before we jump back to the tutorial, I want to let you know about my second brain template. This powerful productivity system is the best way to organize your tasks, notes, projects, and goals, and is based on productivity methods that actually work. Hundreds of people 
people have already purchased the template and are now more productive than ever. It also has tons of five star reviews from people that have used it. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. That's all, back to the tutorial. Next, I actually want that cover photo to display here on the card. So currently what these cards are pulling through on this cover photo section is the page content. So they're all showing blank because as you can see, there is no content on the page. So we need to change it to display the actual cover photo rather than the content. So we're gonna click here on these three dots select layout and here where it says card preview as you can see it's set to page content so if you click on there you want to change it to page cover and as you can see it's now pulling through that cover photo on the card another thing that you can change it's completely up to you is the card size we currently have it to medium so if you're happy with this size of card then leave it as it is but you can change it to either large which just makes them a little bigger as you can see or you can change it to small if you want them to be smaller completely up to you i'm going to leave them as medium because i think that works quite well let's now click this back button and now we're going to go under properties and firstly I actually want to show the tag on the card so I can easily see which tag is associated with this picture so I'm going to click on this button here to display the tags on the card and in this case I'm actually going to remove the name because I'm not personally going to name or label each of these so I'm actually going to hide this name property here so that is removed from the card that's completely up to you if you want to keep it so that you can add a label for each of the images then obviously keep that on the card and you can just write your label in here but I'm going to hide it on mine if you also want to reposition the image you can hover over here and click this reposition and it will allow you to pull it up or down to show a different part of the image so let's add another one if I click on here again we're going to click on this add cover button and I'm going to click change cover and this time let's use this link option so I can show you how that works so I'm just going to head over to the internet to grab an image so I'm just on Pinterest so let's say you want to upload this image here I'm just going to click on here to make it bigger and what we're going to do is you're going to right click on the image and you want to select copy image address so it's really important that you click copy image address and not copy image otherwise it's not going to work so copy image address and then let's head back over to notion so back in notion i'm simply just going to paste that link in here and click submit and as i said earlier it's simply just going to grab that image and upload it here in just a second so there we are so it's now pulled it through so again let's add a tag i think this one is also going to be neutral so let's select that one that we'd already added and let's click back and as you can see that image is now displaying on our card i'm just going to reposition a little bit so we can see a little bit more of this part of the image so i'm just going to fill this out a little bit more so i've just added a few more images to fill this up a bit and i've added a few different tags as you can see as well so on this tab i actually want to just see all of the images that we have in our mood board so i'm actually just going to click on this and we're going to rename it so if i click rename let's just call this one all because it's going to display all of the images within our mood board so i also think it would be useful to sort the photos based on when the photos were added so that you get the most recently added photo displaying here at the top so we can do that by adding a sort so i'm going to click on here and we're going to sort based on this creator time so this is a property that is usually automatically added to a gallery database so you should already have this on there so i'm going to click on created and we're actually going to sort based on descending so that just means the most recently added photo is going to display first so this is the most recently added one so essentially whenever you add a new photo it's going to display right at the top of the mood board next i want another tab that is going to actually group these based on the tag so that it's easy to see my different sections within this mood board so i'm going to click on our all tab and i'm going to duplicate it to create an exact copy and let's rename this by tag and you can also choose an icon here as well so if i click on here let's choose this tag icon and then what we're going to do is click on group and we want to group based on the tags property so let's select that and as you can see that's going to automatically group them together based on the tags and you can open and close these toggles as you like and i also like that this number here is going to tell you how many photos you have within that category which is really useful if you want to rearrange the order of these then if you go back on here so click on the three dots select group you can actually change them just by dragging these like this and as you can see it will simply just rearrange them you can also get them to come up alphabetically so if you click on sort it's currently set to manual which is where i manually arrange the groups but you can set it to alphabetical or reverse alphabetical if you prefer now on this tab we don't actually need to see the tags on the cards because they're already grouped as you can see by the tag so we can actually remove that from the card so i'm going to click on the three dots select properties and we're going to hide this tags property so if i click this button here it's going to hide it from the card so as you can see that's now disappeared from the card so we just simply see the photo another thing i really love about this tab is that you can simply click on the plus new under the tag that you're in so let's say i want to add a, another blue design i can click on the plus new button here under blue and as you can see it's automatically going to add the tag for me because it knows that i want to add something in the blue category so it's a really great way to easily add things within your categories 
So that is the first mood board all complete. So as I said, this one is really great if you want to easily sort, filter, group together your images. It's really easy to use the search function to find what you're looking for. Or as I said, you can group them together like this. And next I'm gonna be showing you how to build this mood board with the vertical images. So we're gonna start by adding a toggle. So if you remember, the mood board is actually located inside a toggle, which makes it easy for you to just open and close the entire mood board. So to get a toggle, we're gonna to type forward slash toggle. And there are actually a few different toggles the one we're going to select is this toggle heading one and that just means that the text here is going to be bigger so it's just easier to see if you want the text to be slightly smaller then you can select either heading two or heading three but I'm going to stick with heading one and then we can give this a name so I'm going to go with the bedroom mood board once again and feel free to add an icon or emoji as well if you actually just type a colon like this and the name of an emoji it will bring them up so let's just go with this bed emoji like this so I'm going to open up the toggle by clicking on this little arrow here and then when you see this that means you're inside the toggle it's currently empty so if I click there I'm now writing inside the toggle so if I just write something and close it as you can see it disappears and will reappear when I open it so the first thing we're going to do is add three columns inside this toggle because we actually want three columns of images which is really great especially if you're wanting vertical images if you prefer to have two columns then feel free to go for two columns if you want the photos to be bigger but I think three columns works quite well so to add in our columns we're going to type four forward slash three C like this and that will bring up this block here three columns so I'm going to select that block and it's going to insert three columns so I'm in the first column here if I click here as you can see this is the second column and here is the third column so let's go back to our first column here so if you wanted to add an image into this column you could type in forward slash image grab this image block and then use this to either upload embed a link or use unsplash to add in an image but that does take a little bit of time if every single time you have to add one of these blocks so let me just delete that so a quicker way would be to create a button that will add that block for you therefore saving you a few steps so to do that we're going to type forward slash button and we're going to create a button so if I click on there the first thing we need to do is give the button a name so let's just call it new image because it's going to insert a new image and let's give it an icon as well I'm just going to use this plus symbol so it looks like it's saying add new image we're going to click add action to tell it what we want it to do once it's clicked and we actually want to insert blocks onto our page so I'm going to click that and in this little box here you can add in whatever you want the button to insert onto the page so as I said we just wanted to insert that image block so that would save us a few clicks so I'm just going to type in forward slash image and grab the image block and I'm just going to click away so it just adds that block and that's all and then we can click done so let's just double check that our button works so I'm going to click add new image and that's going to add a block onto the page so then I can click on here and actually add in our image let's just use unsplash in this example so I'm just going to type in bedroom and let's just grab this image and that's now displayed in this column now you do want one of these buttons in each of the columns so that you can add these image blocks into the other two columns so to do that I'm going to click on these six dots here next to the image button and we're going to select duplicate and I'm just going to do that once more so that we have three buttons and then you can actually just drag and move these into the other column so if you click on these six dots again and just drag you can actually place it in the next column so look out for this blue line here which is going to indicate which column you're in so let's just also grab this third one and place it in the third column so now that we have a button in each of the columns you can simply just click the button and add an image into the next column let's just add a link image in this one so let's say you want to add this image. Again, remember to right click and select copy image address. And back over in Notion, I'm gonna paste that link and click embed image. Now, as this one is a portrait image, it is gonna pull it through vertical as you can see. So this is better than the database version if you want to see the entire image on here. Now, when you click this button again, it's gonna add that block above. So that's just one thing to note that the block will always be added above. So if I then want to add another one, let me just grab another link. Let's go this one. So again, I'm gonna right click copy image address and paste that in and click embed image so as you can see that one is being added above the previous photo now another thing if you want to add a title or a caption to each of these image to add some sort of description if you hover over the image you'll see these buttons appear in the corner so if you click on this one it's going to add a caption so let's just say we want to call this one blue and wood design and as you can see there's then going to be a caption with each of the images which makes it easy to know what each one is so i'm just going to add one for each of these if you do want to rearrange the images at all then it's really easy to do 
do that. So you'll simply click on the six dots and you can just drag and move these wherever you want. So you could place it here. So it's actually really easy to move them around. You can use the columns if you want to organize different categories. It's completely up to you. So you can use each of these toggles to set up a different mood board. So as I said, you can simply just open and close these as you like to hide them or display them. Now in the example, I did show you that I also had set up a button, which is going to automatically add a brand new mood board for you with just a single click. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So I'm going to close the toggle and then we're going to create a button just above that is going to automatically add one of these. So I'm going to type in forward slash button and grab this button block and let's just name this one new mood board and again we're going to click on here to add an icon and let's go with the plus symbol once again so this is what the button looks like so we're going to click add an action to tell it what we want it to do once the button is clicked and we want it to insert blocks into our page so I'm going to select that one and in this box here is where we're going to type in what we want it to display on the page once the button is clicked so we actually just want to copy the design of this toggle here so we're going to start by adding in the toggle so I'm going to type forward slash toggle and we're going to grab toggle heading one. So this is where you're going to write the name. So obviously in this case, you're not going to know what the name is until you actually click the button. So let's just add some square brackets like this and I can just put insert name here and you can also make this italics if you want as well. Then we're going to open up the toggle so that we can place those buttons inside. So I'm going to click here on empty toggle to insert our columns and our buttons. So we're just going to copy the same process. So I'm going to type forward slash three C to grab our three columns and they're here so one column two column three column in the first one forward slash button and this is where we're going to create that new image button so I'm just going to name the button new image click on here to add an icon again we'll go with the plus symbol add an action and that's going to be to insert blocks and the block is simply going to be the image block so I'm just going to type forward slash image to grab that block and that is the image button so it's exactly the same as what we did before we're just creating this now inside this other button to auto create it for us in future so I'm going to click done and don't forget to just duplicate this and place it in the other column so to do that if you just hover here you'll see these six dots here and these six dots are referring to this button so if I click on that we're going to duplicate and let's just do it once more and then I'm just going to grab this one again with these six dots place it in this column by looking for this little blue line and again just grab this one and place it in the third column it's a little bit tricky because you only get this tiny little box to create the entire setup whereas before we had the entire page when you actually click the button it will display in full width on the page so I think that looks about right let's just close the toggle and click done and let's just double check that this works so you click the button it's going to insert the toggle so I can then replace this name here with let's say we're now doing our kitchen mood board and if I open up the toggle it simply just auto created those three columns and the buttons for me so I can click new image and just begin adding in my images and that's it that is how to create a mood board within notion if you want to be even more productive then make sure you check out my second brain template which is an advanced productivity system it has tons of five star reviews from people that have used it. You can grab this template over on my store. I'll leave a link in the description box below.